In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the solemnity, as you know, of all saints. In some countries, it's actually a holy day of obligation, which means you need to go to church and celebrate this feast. It's a feast in which we remember all of those who have made it, all of those who have achieved salvation, not just the canonized ones, but all of them. And there are surely many and many and many, some of whom we probably have known in our lives, let's hope, all of whom who are now praying for us. Of course, Our Lady, with all of these, make part of what we call the communion of saints. She, of course, has that special title, though, Queen of all saints. Why is she queen? Why is she queen of all saints? <clears throat> First of all, the obvious role that she has is queen because she is the mother of the king, and the mother of the king is always the queen, the queen mother, as we often know her, at least within the English royalty. Um, she is obviously, because of the dignity of her son, she inherits, if you will, this dignity. Also, though, because of her sanctity itself. She who was born without, uh, was conceived rather, without sin. The All Holy One. So, hierarchically, if that's a word, it's been a long morning. She is at the top of all the saints, because she is the most sainty. The saintest of all saints. Also, another reason. She is the only one that we know, only human person, who has made it to heaven, both bodily and body and soul. Interestingly enough, in 1950, when the dogma of the um, Assumption of a Blessed Virgin Mary was proclaimed, it was proclaimed on this day, on the Feast of All Saints. And so she is there reigning over all the saints as queen, both in body and in soul. So all the other saints who have to wait till they get their body back, they have to wait till the, the resurrection, the second coming of, of Christ, she is there already, which makes her queenship even wider because she is now reigning in body and soul, therefore not just over the souls of those in heaven, but also over us and our bodies. Truly a queen, because she has everything, but she has merited everything. She has already received the full reward. She has died, she has risen, and she has also gone to heaven. She has been assumed into heaven, not ascended like our Lord by his own power, but taken by him into heaven. And there she continues to reign over us. Now, we know that she does not reign over us like a tyrant. We know that. She, or you know, like a, wick, a wicked stepmother. She's not like that at all. She reigns over us by serving us. If Christ says that to be first, the, first must, the first shall become last, and if you wish to be a leader, you need to be a servant, she who is the most perfect of Christians, therefore, must, be, must carry that out most perfectly. If I didn't use the word most too many times. She is the person who serves most perfectly us. Yes, she serves Christ, absolutely. But also us. She is a queen who comes down with her people and gives them what they need and obtains for them what they don't have. There is nothing she will not give us. You know, that beautiful prayer, the Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never... Was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, sought thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided? Never was it known, ever. And two, for two reasons. She's the perfect mother. And all of you who are mothers who want to give your children all the best, but you can't because you're just, a, you know, you're a human mother. She can. She can because she's already, she already has everything. God has made her the perfect mother and the mediatrix of all graces. You know the story of, um, of Joseph in the Old Testament. The Pharaoh gave Joseph 
the keys to all his supplies, all the granaries, to, to distribute as he sees fit. Our Lady has a similar role with all the gifts and graces of our Lord. She is truly the Queen. She has control over everything, over all these things, by God's command, by God's will. God has entrusted it to her. And like every good mother, she wants to give all of this to us. And she'll never run out of things to give us because the things she has comes from God. And of course, God is infinite and eternal. We therefore may say, well, Our Lady is the Queen of all saints, but I'm no saint. Well, then I would say, why not? Because that's what you're called to be. That's what we are all called to be. Holiness. That is God's will for you. Holiness doesn't um, consist, however, necess necessarily, or at all really, in flying about the room, elevating, or reading hearts, or making miracles, or bilocating. These things could be or could not be. They're no sign necessarily of personal holiness. Holiness, rather, to be a saint means to seek God's will, and then with all one's strength and courage to live it. And that is much more difficult than flying around the room at times, although I haven't tried the latter. If we do this, if we strive, if we seek, we shall find and we will be able to do it. And we can, uh, with confidence and ease, call Our Lady our Queen and Queen of all Saints. And we are part of that uh, communion of saints then. If in this seeking and in this striving we find ourselves lacking, then again we need to go to her. Any of you who has a friend in some kind of uh, area of power or influence would not uh, hesitate to use them if necessary for the good of your children or the good of someone you love or even your own good. How we have the woman in the most influential uh, situation in the universe and for all time. She's the mother of God. Let us therefore profit from this. She wants us to profit from her situation. She wants us to profit from her power, from her influence, from her authority. Saint Therese of Lisieux said, she is queen, most definitely, but she's much more mother than queen. And so we can have this confidence therefore in her, that she who is queen, with this quasi almost unlimited authority and power according to what God has granted her is also our mother. There is nothing she won't do for the good of our souls and for the good of all those who are dear to us. Let us pray to her therefore with confidence that all that we ask for her she will indeed gain for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.